Oh, hello. My name is Maurice Franks, or as I'm now known, USG Representative Maurice Franks. Oh my god, it's so bad. Anyway, I was elected because I ran on a platform of change. And because my father is on the board of trustees, but I made a promise to round up all the corruption on this campus and, and sweep it under Eddie's parade. And I finally found the best place to start. I have found a man whose everyday activities and occupations just, just reek of hackiness and fraud. He sucks the wholesomeness out of this campus like a, like a mosquito. A mosquito sucking on the double chin of a very obese man. I speak, of course, of the theater critic for the Ram. A man that they call de Blasio. Wow. Yeah, that's really great, Jackass. Really dramatic. Nobody cares about this shit. Now, from what I've been able to surmise, this de Blasio is quite a mysterious figure. No one wants to talk. But luckily, I have been able to nab an interview with the one person at Fordham who seems to have any real information on the man. Someone who, at first glance, might not seem to know anything. Wait, what are you talking about? That's, that's the editor. If people wanted to get information on someone that worked for the paper, that's probably the first place that they would go. No. Hi, name's Maurice Franks, uh, USG representative. I'm investigating uh, de Blasio. I interrogated her for many hours into the night, but she would not let up. Okay, so de Blasio, now, now what's his purpose, you know, what's his end game here? I don't know, he's uh, kind of unapproachable. How so? He's just really into his work, we've all sort of gotten used to it. Yeah, but what's he hiding? What is he plotting? Look, I really don't know what you mean, he's just the theater critic. And he, he's not even that good. I mean, he's all hacky headlines, then bland reviews. The only reason he has this job is because our moms were friends and we were from the same town. Clearly, he's already bought everyone at the paper. The only person he can't buy? Maurice Franks! Look, can't you do something productive? Like, rebuild FMH or something? Finally, I nabbed an interview with him outside the theater. Finally! <laughs> yeah, let's do this one. So I have a bit of routine on show nights. Uh, I'll go home, take a freezing cold shower, watch a few reruns of Baywatch, and then walk on over to the theater. Now I have a bit of a critic sweet tooth, so I never do any show without a nice thing of popcorn, a good old bunch of crunch. Wish me luck. The show? I've been doing these reviews a long time, and I've acquired a bit of a cult following because of it. My, my reviews during the month of November brought me a, a tidal wave of support like never before. So I was thinking about voting for that de Blasio guy for mayor. I'm a beloved cult figure. I think it's my headlines that do it. There was a show in uh, January called My Personal Hell. So my headline was, uh, my personal hell. Or like, my personal hell. Now you see why this monster must be caught. And we are closer than ever to catching him. Look, I have a pretty well, damn Hurry, 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 hurry. What, what the hell are you doing? What is this? Mr. President, is investigating the corruption of the Blasio. Maurice, we've talked about this, okay? You got work to do. I mean, put this away and focus on this year's budget, okay? 